published study says people with HIV have a smaller chance of developing multiple sclerosis. The study, published in the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery, and Psychiatry, notes even though both HIV and multiple sclerosis patients are well known and documented, there is only a single case report of a patient with MS and HIV treated with HIV antiretroviral therapies. In this report, the patient's MS symptoms resolved completely after starting combination antiretroviral therapy and remained subsided for more than 12 years. Those involved in the study hypothesized that people being treated for HIV might also be coincidentally treated for MS. And Health Day points out the longer the person had HIV, the lower their chance was of also developing multiple sclerosis. Compared to people in the general population, the risk of MS was 75% lower among people who had tested positive for HIV more than a year ago. The risk of MS was 85% lower among those who had tested positive for HIV more than five years ago. The study looked at more than 21,000 people with HIV and had a control group of more than 5 million people. As The Economist notes, results don't indicate whether it's the infection or its treatment that is suppressing MS. The Economist also points out if it's the HIV drug suppressing multiple sclerosis, it might be possible to use existing drugs to treat MS. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris.